what is up friend welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you my august setup so if that's something you'd like to see then just keep watching all right i am so excited to be back we are back from vacation um the craziness has kind of died down and we don't have any major trips coming up so i feel like from this point on i can kind of get back into my regular routine as far as content um so i'm really excited i missed filming a video i think it's been probably two weeks since my last video um we just came back from hawaii and i've just been trying to like reset after that and so that was really just amazing and i'm so grateful that i got to go with my husband and my littlest one um but i am happy to be back with the rest of the kids and back into a regular routine um so as you can see this is not my Gillio gold from my last video it is my new cover that i got in the mail just a couple days ago it's my moterm personal rings lux 2.0 in the veg tan dune and i have been waiting for this i have been wanting this color since i saw it maybe like probably last year on Mama Mod's YouTube channel. She has one and I knew I w had to have it. And so they did a restock recently and I was able to pick one up. Um, so I'm really grateful. Anyway, so this is my new planner cover. She's gorgeous and she's already getting some marks from use. Um, over my vacation in Hawaii, I was in my apricot, the veg tan apricot. Um, I wanted something that felt summery. Um, so I switched to that for traveling and I absolutely loved it. If you follow me on my Instagram, I'll put that down, link down below, but you saw that I um, had, was in my apricot for a little bit. I'm going to do another video of a planner system update and kind of show my different covers that I just got in the mail um, because otherwise this video is going to be super long. This dune cover definitely feels different from my apricot. Um, it's this one's definitely squishier especially the fly leaf so i'm going to talk about that in my planner system update but for right now i'm going to give you just a flip of my planner and please let me know if you have any questions on where something is from i'm going to try and do my best to just link things down below i have switched things out um so we will walk through that together um okay so opening her up, I still have my planner charm from Shop Lucy Plans Life. I am PRing for her. So you can use my code to save in her shop. But she has beautiful planner charms. This one's monogrammed. Um, I'm gonna try to zoom you guys in. This one's monogrammed. And I have like a jeweled one and a beautiful like heart glass with like pressed flowers. Um, and it's just gorgeous. So I just changed my deco here up in the front um to kind of go with the planner cover and i love how it turned out i changed my little clip this is from aliexpress it's not an ollie clip it's just kind of a it's just a different brand from aliexpress this is from sm plans she has not done a freebie of her monthlies but you can buy her best of monthlies and so that's where that's from this is from a sticker book from aliexpress that i just got and i'll show you this one it's so beautiful I love everything in here so there's like bigger sheets in the back and then stickers in the front so that's where that's from I just had this from I don't know one of my orders with the black like jumbo paper clip and that's my deco in the front I've got some stickers and things here in the pocket I have page flags in the zipper and stamps um, yeah so that's my front and then in here on my mild liner it's the smoke blue dark blue um, mild liner and then here i have some coffee things deco from paper planner bliss it just goes really well with the color of the cover um this is a collage i made on shuffles and i absolutely love it it goes with just the whole coffee theme i guess you could call it um with just the colors and the blues and i love it and then i have a separate one on the back i do have one second sorry my washing machine was really loud okay so 
this collage I made on Shuffles, and I do have this um, on my Instagram in a highlight, I think called Shuffles, and you can screenshot it and print it out if you want it in your planner. Um, but yeah, I made these collages on that app. It's a Pinterest app, so you can get pictures from Pinterest and just make collages. So both of these I made, um, I made this one first when I first downloaded the app, and then this one I specifically made for this planner, just to kind of go with the beige and the browns, and I love it. Um, Peanuts Planner Co. Freebie. I don't print it out on sticky notes because my planner or printer does not do that. Um, it doesn't like sticky notes. And I've tried many different ways, all the things, and it doesn't work. So what I did was just print out the freebie on regular paper and use double-sided tape to stick it to an actual sticky note. So this is just a file effects like um, acetate. And then I've got my August photo dashboard set um, in the back here. And I love the August dashboard set. It's kind of like, it's really warm and I think it's a good transition um, kind of towards like going in, going into fall. Um, it's got a lot of warm tones this time. And then this was the collage I had in the front for a long time in this Cat's Presso Co. folder. I just stuck it in here because I absolutely love this collage as well with all the blues. This was inspired by um, Courtney. I'll link her YouTube down below, but she had she made a morning and evening routine on Canva and I thought, oh, I want that. So I made one for myself on Canva and printed that out, put a little checker on the back. All of my covers that look like this are from Marcia Bermucci. Um, so my first little section is inbox and honestly, it's not a very, um, it's just, it has a bunch of like pretty stuff in it. Basically, I do have an inbox. Um, to do checklist from Filofax, and this is a Pinterest image. This new era is from EO Edits, it's a freebie. I have an AliExpress sticky note on it, and it's clipped to an SM Plans elements of a planner that I purchased off her site. Um, and then, so yeah, my inbox with this sticky notes from Dollar Tree. Most of these in my inbox are freebies. This is from Written Treasures, it's an inbox freebie. Uh, Planner Rebel Co. freebie, Planner Menu. EO Edits Planning Routine, that's a freebie. And then a Planner Purge from EO Edits, that's a freebie as well. This coffee stained acetate is Cat's Press Hoco. This is from my August dashboard set. Then we go into my, I guess, I guess I consider my list my first section. My inbox is just kind of like the beginning pages. Um, so first section, lists. So I've got a ton of trigger lists in here because they're nice to look at, honestly. I don't really reference them all the time. I just like having them in here. I did print out Crystal Plan's beach trigger list because this was something I was using, um, or I did use and will use when we go to the beach again. Hellenistic, Hellenistic YouTube blog, I'm using that. Plan with B, the last time insert, it's a freebie. Returns tracker from Lucy Plans Life, it's printable. I've got some of my notes pages from my shop and then just some Peanuts Planner Co. checklist. I believe these are freebies in her Facebook group as well. So I just have various lists, some um, orders, Instagram. This is from an idea from Maine Mama Plans. It's next time I'm at, so I put like Trader Joe's, Walmart, Staples. Gift list when my kids are like, mom, get this for me for my birthday. So I started a list. This is from Annie Plans. It's a notes bundle, and I just got some different things in here. Back to school to-dos, monthly Etsy shop goals, library holds, things like that. This beautiful floral notes insert is from Lucy Plans Life, and I just have some Filofax pages in here. I have camping list, packing lists, just added my password um, bundle in here. I made this and put it in here. This is what it looks like, um, just blank. And I made the covers as well. That's not on my Etsy shop, but um, I'm gonna work on that. This is from my August dashboard set. I love the way this looks together. This is the Journaling Home August kit. I love her August kit. This is a Pinterest image. And then we go into my schedule section. This is my second section. Um, so when I go to plan, I will check off my monthly calendar up here. Um, 
look through my inbox to see if there's anything there that I can work on and then go to my schedule section to my monthly and check off what we have going on. Um, check off the day. Monthly highlights, that's from my minimal planner. And I love updating, updating that. This is Virgo and paper, holidays, Plan with me, holidays. Those are, I think Plan with me is freebie. I don't know about Virgo and paper. I don't know. This is a paper test designs. I'm using it as a perpetual calendar. This I just made. So I really love how this looks. Um, I wanted to make my own version of the composition notebook and this is a freebie and I'll put that down, the link down below. But if you want this and more colors, I just uploaded a listing to my Etsy shop with more colors. So you get this and like six other colors. Um, so you can check that out. I'll put a little picture here on the screen for you to check out. Um, but it's got a front and back cover and this is what the lined pages look like. I absolutely love how this turned out. So I think what I'm going to use this for is for homeschool because we're going to be starting that up again at the end of the month. Then my monthlies. So this is Peanuts Planner Co. And this is noted by Post-it. And then this is just a ribbon I used. Um, I stuck it on with double-sided tape. It's not like amazing. Like I could just peel that right off, but it stays on enough since it, the planner is closed a lot. Um, okay, so I was using Peanuts Planner Co. for the first half of the year. I switched around a lot with my monthlies, but I finally settled into Peanuts Planner Co. Um, and then I just switched out the uh, remaining months of 2024 into my month on four page. So I don't know if you consider this month on four page, but I think I do. Um, so basically you get a um, checklist before the month and then grid on the back. So really you could um, like stick each month in between your weeks if you wanted, um, but I wanted a space for um, monthly to do's and just kind of bring dump like I need to get this done this month it doesn't have to get done on a specific day just I, I need to get this done um, sometime during the month so I made these and these are gonna go up in my shop soon um, but I made the rest of 2024 and then I made 2025 I did not stick 2025 in here because I'm still tweaking the listing but right now i have it made in personal size um if you're interested in this particular insert in a different size other than personal let me know but i feel like personal is my most sold size so for right now i have it in personal but i will make it in other sizes like the most popular that i sell um yeah so that's the rest of 2024 i have um those all printed up i love the bic highlighter colors i've been absolutely obsessed so my yellow is appointments things that i need to leave the house for um, and then everything else is like different colors that i feel like using so like things i want to make note of uh, birthdays anniversaries things like that so i'll just kind of switch up the colors and it's just nice to look at honestly let me show you um, so I didn't do it, I haven't done it really, but I've been doing it for here. So um, yellow is all my appointments and then the other colors is just things I wanna take note of. So that's how I kind of color code my monthlies. And then I have um, journaling home August, part of her August kit in here. Um, it's just really pretty, so I have that there. Um, okay, so then I have this folder that I made. I talked about this, I think, in my last video, but it's just a folder from Target, and I cut it down and hole-punched it. This is another collage I made on shuffles that I made into a dashboard and laminated it. Journaling home, August kit, and then we're going into my dailies. Um, oh, I'm going to put a stick it there. Let's do that. Okay, I love how these turned out. So let's see what I feel like putting down. Oh, let's do a macaron. That would be cute. Okay. So I put a little sticker down. This is from Walmart. And I put a little sticker down um, when we complete a month. So, oh no, sorry, not my dailies. I'm going into my weeklies. So... I was using file effects, week on one page, love how those look, and then switched to the just classic week on two pages. 
um, and I highlight the day of um, as we go through the week so I'll highlight the day and the date and I'll choose a big highlighter color for the things I need to leave the house for appointments things like that um, and if I feel like it I'll go back in after the fact and highlight like moments so besides my appointments I'll write in things that I want to like take note of like journal about like short journaling I guess um, so like when Riley turned four months this is when we were in Hawaii and you know places we went so it's just really nice to look at and look you could see that like sometimes I don't do it but it's really pretty when I do do it um, so current week um, this is a scotch I think business card or something self laminating sheet and I just put magazine images in side of it and I got that idea from Sir Plans. Um, so this is where I'm debating changing things up. So I love these Filofax ones. Um, and I also just created some new weeklies that are in my shop. So first I have this week on one page with lists and habit tracker. I love that one. And then I have this week on one page with a different kind of week on one page with lists and habit trackers. Um, so there's this one I'm gonna try out. I'm gonna try out this one. And then week on two page with lists. And I did Monday through Friday on the left with the weekend on the right with the lists. Um, just different and yeah, interesting. And then there's this one where you've got smaller boxes for your week if you don't have a whole lot to like schedule out, but you want it to be functional, like productive. Um, I like to use this for dinners and workouts and then any notes. So my original idea was to be able to stick down post-it notes there. So like if I write something down in a post-it note, I could just like that. Um, yeah, and then space for notes there. So that's another weekly that's in my shop. And then this one. Again, you can have a space for your sticky notes like that. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of playing around with my weeklies. When I make a new weekly or a new insert, I put it in my planner so I could test it out and make sure everything's good and I don't have to tweak anything. Um, so anyway, since I printed these out, I don't want to waste it. So they're in there and I'll use those up. And then I was using this Peanuts Planner Co. Weekly to try it out. There's a lot of information on this insert, but it's just a little too small for me. And then I was using this Peanuts Planner Co. Weekly. So yeah, that's my weekly section. This is from my August dashboard set. I love the back of this one. I made this collage. Then we go into my daily section, which this is the August journaling home kit, as you can tell. And then it's just notes pages. My dailies, I keep going back and forth on creating dailies, which I have created a couple of minimal ones. Um, just to like have and try out, but I just love the notes page paper. I haven't done today's to-do list yet. Um, yeah, I just love cutting down notebook paper because I like the way the paper feels and how um, my pen feels writing on it. So that's my dailies. And then vellum from Lucy Plans Life, Pinterest image, and then my personal section. So this is my wish list. Trackers, social media tracker, Instagram, health log, um, PNS Planner Co. monthly tracker. So I use that for my mood, sleep, and cycle. And then daily habit tracker. So I have this because sometimes my weekly doesn't have a tracker on it. So I keep that up to date. My gratitude log, that's from Annalita Designs. And my weight log, that's from Peanuts Planner Co. And then I have this freebie from Ghouli Plans. It's farmer's market freebie. Then we go into my food log, because um, this is helpful for me to see like um, what kind of eating works for my goals. Um, so yeah, I'm just logging when I eat and then weighing myself daily. And that's how I kind of learn like, okay, you know, doing this, this and that helps me towards my goal or um, you know today's not a weight loss day so I'm just gonna enjoy myself and whatever um, so that's just for my reference and then I made this because I got the Trader Joe's glazed 
chocolate donut holes, which is dairy-free and gluten-free, and it's so good, you guys. I highly recommend it. So I cut it out and put it onto some cardstock. And then we go into my memory section, and this brings me so much joy to flip through, and my kids love looking at it too. Um, yeah, so I have that in there. I took it out for a while, but since I'm in a bigger cover, I decided to put it back in so I could just flip through it. That's for my August dashboard set. That's drilling home finance section. So it's a bills tracker and a checkbook register or spending tracker, I should say. And then just a notes page. Um, then we go into my, my, my Moxie dreams month on one page insert. And I use this for my income from Etsy and YouTube household management. That's from Vixie plans, cleaning routine. It's either Hey Planner Girl or I think it's Hey Planner Girl. And then I have a cleaning tracker, which I've been kind of bad at. So I'm testing out a couple, couple different inserts. So I've got an SM Plans monthly one. And then, but since we were in Hawaii the first week, it kind of throws it off. I kind of don't like it half filled in. <laughs> um, and then there's this one from, it's a freebie. Let me look. Perpetual Plans is this one. So I have a couple different ones in here to see which one I like, which one works better for me. I might like the Perpetual Plans one better, but we'll see. I printed this uh, seasonal fruits and veggies insert out. Pantry staples, that's from Planner Rebel Co. I think that was a freebie. And then we've got my weekly meal plan. So we've got the week and I don't assign dinners to certain days. I just plan seven dinners and then we eat whatever we feel like. Um, and then you've got the shopping list on the back. Sorted grocery list. So this helps when I'm actually going into the store and shopping and it just makes more sense versus trying to like shop from this just brain dump list. This is all categorized and I know in my head like which section of the store I'm gonna go to and then I can just get everything in that section without worrying about missing anything. So that's in my Etsy shop as well. And then just some plain shopping lists. Okay, and then I love these collages I made. It's just book talk. This is a freebie as well from uh, it doesn't say so if you know please put it down below and then this is a collage I also made so I took out most of my uh, book section because it was just taking up space and I wasn't I'm not I've been really bad at reading lately I'm kind of disappointed in myself but I've been also busy and also trying to like keep up with like content and Etsy shop stuff which is kind of taken priority so what I'm trying to do is just read a chapter at night before I go to bed um, but last year I was doing I was like killing it. I read like 50 books last year. I think this year I've read like 12. Still better than nothing. I'm really enjoying it. I love reading. Um, but anyway, I just wasn't updating it as often as I thought I would. So I just kept a couple of book review inserts in here. Um, and then it goes into my Etsy shop section and my kids section, which is just health logs, baby nap schedule for when she's old enough for that. And then this um, is from AliExpress. It's just a zipper folder with receipts and sticky notes. Little deco back here, fourth wing gift card. This is a sticker pack from AliExpress. This is again from this pack and it just goes well with the planner cover. And then these are the reference cards from Hey Planner Girl. So that's my section and I've absolutely been enjoying the Pilot Acroball in the fine tip. I did get the medium and I don't like it as much. so. I've really been enjoying that. I'm going to get maybe the refills or more, more of those pens. Um, but yeah, that is my August setup. It's absolutely working really well and I'm enjoying it. I'm, I love being in my planner. It's really bringing me so much joy. Um, so if you have any questions, just let me know and I'd be happy to answer them. Um, be sure to subscribe to see my future videos and give this a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it and that you'd like to see more uh, videos like this in the future. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.